Hello guys, in our previous video, should there be an afterlife? We answered the question, we proved that there must be an eternal life. Now, is Allah's power enough to create such an eternal life? We will answer the question. First of all, I would like to mention this before moving on to the proofs. When someone promises something, we look if he can do what he promised. Or we look if he has done something like that before. Allah promises repeatedly in the Quran that there is an eternal life and he will take us there. In other words, he promised that we will be existed after we die. Let's see if Allah has done something like that before. For example, let's imagine a rider. He is a miraculous rider. This rider writes 300,000 books, the letters of which have been corrupted or destroyed on a single page without mixing up without mistakes without errors in an hour such a miraculous writer in this case if someone says to you this writer will write from his memory in a minute the lost book of yours that he wrote himself do you say no he cannot write i don't believe it of course you don't because someone who writes 300,000 books on one page in an hour can easily write his own book in his memory in a minute just like in this example how can be said how can allah who turns the white page in winter and opens the green page in summer and recreates and rewrite 300,000 kinds of plants every spring, recreate that person who created and wrote. Or is it called how to rewrite? Of course, not called. Because every spring he writes and creates countless plants before our eyes. It's as clear and clear as the spring that man will be resurrected and it's the truth. Whoever denies the resurrection must be also denied the spring. Now, imagine a miraculous king. This king lifts the mountains with a sign. He turns seas into lands and lands into the seas. This king invites his prayer precious guests for a great fast. While their guests are on their way to the king's palace, they see a large stone falling on the road on the way. It closed their way. They cannot go. Now, in this situation, can you say that that miraculous king doesn't remove that stone from the guest's way? He cannot lift it. I don't believe it. Of course, you cannot say. Because the king who removed the mountains and changed their places will of course easily remove that stone from his guest's way. And he will take his guest to his palace. Just like this example, for Allah who easily rotates stars millions of times larger than the sun, would it be difficult to remove this world which is 1.3 million times smaller than the sun from the way we travel to the hereafter? Can be said, how can he remove it? Of course, he will remove this world from before us and take us to the hereafter. Now, let's imagine a great commander. He gathers millions of different soldiers with an order from different places of the world. And again, he puts them all in order with a single command. After that, the soldiers whose duties are over, scattered around to rest. Now, in this situation, if we are told the commander will bring those dispersed soldiers together again with an order, can you say that he cannot? Of course, you cannot say because the commander who gathers millions of soldiers with an order from the different places of the world collects the scattered soldiers much more easily. Doing the second is much easier from the first. Just like that, for Allah who brings 10 million species of living things on the earth into existence over and over again and brings together 350,000 species of the plants in a spring, is it possible to say how will he collect the bones that were scattered after we die? Is it asked to Allah who created us from nothing how he will bring the, our bones back into existence after death? Can it be the second difficult for him who did the first? Here is the verse from Allah the owner of the universe that enlightens our minds. Look then at the signs of Allah's mercy, how he gives life to the earth after its death. Most surely he will raise the dead to life and he has power over all things.